The title is uh, Rheumatic Medicine and the Mediterranean. Uh, actually, there is a subtitle, the relationship, which is the relationship between medicine, and medical travels, and climatotherapy amidst the decline of rheumatism in 19th century Britain. Uh, uh, in uh, this presentation, I will briefly explain my research plans. Uh, my study's main topic is uh, romantic medicine's influences on the changing relationship between medical tourism, uh, particularly targeting the climate of the Mediterranean and uh, climatotherapy in 19th century Britain. Now, there are two main intentions for this study. One is to extend uh, the horizon of intellectual history on the influences of 19th century romantic medicine. The other intention is to shed light on the intersection of the Mediterranean study and medical history through a medical intellectual perspective, such as Romanticism and the shifting medical philosophical paradigms during the 19th century. The intellectual backgrounds of this study consist of two factors. Uh, one is the medical philosophical framework shift in hygiene during the 19th century. Uh, Regarding this background, one of the most uh, renowned works in the historiography is Virginia Smith's Clean uh, History of Personal Hygiene and Purity, uh, 2007. The other important background is the relationship between Islam and Romanticism, Jeffrey Einboden's Islam and Romanticism. Muslim currents from Goethe to Emerson, 2014, maybe one of the most important works in this regard. Uh, the geographical backgrounds of this study are also important in my study. Uh, the eastern part of the Mediterranean and the Levant region have significance in terms of Islamic medicine. From the late 19th century, the influx of Western medicine represented by uh, French and German ones began. This is well represented, well researched in Christopher Law's The History of Public Health in the Modern Middle, Middle East, the Environmental Medical Term 2020, which gives a comprehensive picture based on the recent academic currents in the history of medicine in the Mediterranean region. Previous studies on the eastern part of the Mediterranean medical history showed that, in general, Western medicine were being, was being introduced from the first half of the 19th century to some most populated cities in the Ottoman Empire and Egypt, principally through medical schools. However, they also showed that until the early next century, uh, the expansion of Western medicine was quite limited to big cities, mainly due to the a prevalent repulsion of the hospitals across the region during the period. Self-treatment was common while the process of medical professionalism was largely undeveloped. Oh, sorry? No, it's not me. I guess someone is using the oh, mic. Yeah. Please turn off your mic. Yeah, I will go, go on. Yeah, An important yeah. context of the main theme of this, which is European travel for hygiene and climate in the 19th century. Is in 19th century Britain, travels for health to the Mediterranean and Southern Europe, including not often though, uh, Northern Africa, such as Algeria, were booming. The belief in the therapeutic value of Mediterranean climate uh, which enabled cure through southern air, made Aldering's house a standard medical prescription for the well-to-do in the Victorian era. In this atmosphere, uh, climatotherapy developed. 
Uh, there are several studies on the relationship between uh, travels for health and climate therapy and on the comparisons between the fundamental frameworks of the former and the latter. One of the representative works is John Pember's uh, The Mediterranean Passion, which was published in 1987. Pember related the popularity of the Mediterranean climate to the contemporary zeal for alternative medicine rather than its warm temperature. The essence of alternative medicine of the time lay in the concept of nature cure. Uh, the object of nature therapy was to counteract uh, the damage suffered under predisp predisposing conditions by providing uh, the optimum conditions for spontaneous recovery. Uh, these conditions included fresh air, exercise, and the removal of the sources of stress and fatigue. In this respect, climatotherapy, which can be defined as the use of climate as a curative agent, played a vital role for two reasons. First, climate determined a patient's measure of fresh air and exercise. And second, climate operated as a depressant or a stimulant. However, uh, as Pamber mentioned, uh, those Victorian climatotherapists uh, paid minute attention to the effects of different climates on the body. Uh, this, this explanation implies that climatotherapy relied on a reductionist approach by subdividing appropriate uh, climates according to the state of the patient. Uh, thus, uh, this shows a different feature from the holistic approach of the nature cures uh, framework. In addition, Pember explained that the discovery of the microorganic nature of infection had no such immediate repercussions in medicine as it had in surgery, because the search for new vaccines failed and no known drug had the power to destroy hostile microorganisms once they had entered the body. However, this does not seem to effectively explain why the popularity of climatotherapy continued even in the Edwardian era, the next century, amidst the changes in the etiology caused by germ theory. Regarding the decline of climatotherapy, Kenneth Thompson explained in his uh, Wilderness and Health in 19th century, which was published in 1976, uh, that wilderness therapy fell into desuetude in the 20th century as the realization spread that the wilderness environment was of little value in combating microbial and other agents of disease. Uh, War Boys in 2000 explains that by and large, the trends in consumption treatments were less and less climato climatological. The rise of bacteriology and open air treatment, such as sanatorium, signaled a uh, reluctant demise of the health based grand tour and the value of air as such. Whereas Morris in 2018 insists that climate therapy was, after all, medical and social constructions, and that social changes such as the rise of commercial tourism at the end of the 19th century caused commercial abandonment of the change of air. Yeah, so uh, in the case of Morris, uh, he insists that uh, climatotherapy was, after all, a medical and social construction, uh, and that social changes such as the rise of commercial tourism at the end of the 19th century. I think it, I, I told it already. So another 
representative who works about European travel for hygiene and climatotherapy is uh, Vladimir uh, Jankovic, the, right, the last result of uh, British perspective on the medical south in 2007 and six, Jankovic explained, examined medical reasoning and disease etiology. They determined the choice of results and resumes while examining the framework in which traveling for health has become associated with the Mediterranean's uh, endemic image. Jankovic emphasized empirical aspects which were associated with the general long-term relationship between travel and medicine, regardless of changing professional opinion and its impact on the fate of results. Uh, this empirical aspect, uh, that is the Mediterranean as an experience that caused climate therapy to develop as a medical practice. Zankovic argues that as 19th century climate therapists gained more authority, this discipline increasingly began, began to set the tone of medical expatriation. He at least distinguished the practice of European travel for health and climate therapy. The former had already been established by the mid 19th century. It was deeply connected with the growing neo Hippocratic medical trend and the social fascination with environmental purity. Purity. This was one. This was one of the British upper class activities, which uh, comprised of pilgrimage, literary tourism, and traveling for health. Uh, these uh, three components were often indistinguishable from each other and seen as the elements of a holistic notion of health as a balance of mental and physiological energies. Most importantly, Jankovic considers climatotherapy to be a newly emerged therapeutic system in the 19th century in the long history of the medical journey. And Maurice, the Victorian change of air as medical and social construction in 2018, I think I told, I, I mentioned earlier, is another important study in the historiography of 19th century climate therapy. He argues that climate therapy was a phenomenon rooted in the medical and social construction of disease. Maurice emphasizes that in terms of the 19th century medicalization of hygiene, uh, climate therapists viewed their roles as their roles as more than merely prescribing a travel. They were viewed as a moral contract between doctor and patient. My study compared with the previous studies raises a different question, suggesting that the decline of climate therapy in Europe in the early 20th century might have been caused by its sharing the philosophical framework with the reductionist etiology represented by disease specificity. Specificity, yeah. I assume that the fundamental nature of traveling for health in Europe changed over time towards the later period of the 19th century. Zakovic explained the changes mainly through socio-cultural aspects. Although he also paid attention to the subtle changes in medical discourse among important figures in the late 19th century, Maurice focused more on a social constructionist approach than Jankovic did. I will attempt to explain the changes about the chain, uh, changes in the intellectual frameworks of the period. In my uh, study, these changes in the intellectual frameworks will be portrayed as reflecting the dissociation between Romanticism and European medicine. However, Romantic medicine was still socially influential among the public, even though it became marginalized in medical discourse. Therefore, I oppose categorizing 
the late 19th century traveling for health simply as climatotherapy and aim to suggest uh, that social and professional discourses in traveling for health were separated during the late 19th century, while the lay public continued to pursue the elements of romantic medicine. The main questions of my study can be summarized as what are the differences between the theoretical or philosophical frameworks of medical tourism and climate therapy in the 19th century? Are there any influences of romanticism that can be found in the development of therapy? The decision influenced the relationship between medicine and climate therapy? And my main argument is that romantic medicine's decline in mid-19th century Britain influenced uh, the evolution of medical tourism, which led to the professionalization of uh, climate therapy. Yeah. Uh, as primary sources, I will analyze, I'm planning to analyze this uh, literature below, uh, along with journals such as BMG and Lancet. And also there are some uh, important second, uh, secondary sources, like this important as important references for my study. Yes. Until now, yeah. Uh, thanks for listening to my presentation.